Hiya, and you're going to Hello, hello. Thank you. It's great to be here. Nice to be here in Nottingham, a city I'm very, very fond of. I'm going to begin with a poem, a uh, recent, uh, recent poem. Uh, Allen Ginsberg uh, wrote a poem called The Ballad of the Skeletons. I don't know if you know this. It was published in 1995, and I really like the structure of the poem, but it's very much about uh, America at the time, about New York at the time about the city in which he lived and loved. And I wanted to uh, take it and so anglicize it, set it in contemporary times. And this is called The Ginsberg Skeleton. Said the FIFA skeleton, hide the whistle and line our pockets. Said the arms dealer skeleton, selling the mortars, tanks and rockets. Said the dope dealer skeleton, I can't cope with the demand. Said the false prophet skeleton, it is written in the sand. Said the tobacco skeleton, there's a billion lungs to fill. Said the ISIS skeleton, that's what we do, we kill. Said the whip-cracking skeleton, love that lip-smacking blood. Said the beheading skeleton, it's just like chopping wood. Said the far-right skeleton, we must keep them at the borders. Said the tear gas skeleton, I'm just obeying orders. Said the people smuggler skeleton, I put freedom within reach. Said the washed-up skeleton, they found me on the beach. Said the Ebola skeleton, sorry, I'm not finished yet. Said the World Bank skeleton, you can breathe when you paid your debt. Said the NRA skeleton, it's a basic human right. Said the bullet riddle skeleton, yup, damn right. Said the schoolgirl skeleton, I wish we'd never met. Said the grooming skeleton, what you see ain't what you get. Said the self-harming skeleton, the blade cuts out the ache in me. Said the Jesus skeleton, why hast thou forsaken me? Said the Wonga skeleton, keep on taking out the loans. Said the skeleton of colour, am I the token bones? Said the Harley Street skeleton, you could never afford my fee. Said the lying in state skeleton, what you see is what you'll be. Said the skeleton in the cupboard, who locked me up in here? Said the Brexit skeleton, seemed a good idea. <laughs> Said the plagiarised skeleton, I'll call the poetry police. Said the Ginsberg skeleton, now let me rest in peace. Said the Ginsberg skeleton, now let me rest in peace. Thank you. This is a, a villanelle for hard times called It's a Jungle Out There. On leaving the house, you best say a prayer. Take my advice and don't travel by train. As Tarzan said to Jane, it's a jungle out there. <laughs> I'm not a man who will easily scare. But I'd rather chew wasps than get on a plane. On leaving the house, you best say a prayer. Sugar's the killer, and it's everywhere. You can't avoid salt, so your heart's under strain. As Tarzan said to Jane, it's a jungle out there. Avoid beef like the plague and the sun's blinding glare. Alcohol slowly eats away the brain. On leaving the house, you best say a prayer. When the sky turns purple, better be aware. Gamma rays on the breeze and acid in the rain, as Tarzan said to Jane, it's a jungle out there. Don't drink the water and don't breathe the air, for the sake of the children, repeat the refrain. On leaving the house, you best say a prayer, as Tarzan said to Jane. You. It's about chips, 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 it's about chips. It's called Mermaid and Chips. We had half a dozen chippies within walking distance of home. The nearest was the dearest. A penny more on the fish, stingy with the chips and no mushy peas. We gave the friary a wide berth. Mr. Clark, who limped and chain smoked in the happy place, was as sour as his pickled eggs. Known as spit in the boiler, his dark shop we avoided like the plague. Although, in defence of the grumpy emphysemia sufferer, it was said that the infected phlegm would have been rendered harmless by the boiling fat. <laughs> the, lob <laughs> the lobster shell, with its takeaway paper napkins and finicky wooden forks, too pretentious. And the chip suey where my lie lost her dentures shouting at a pan of curry sauce. Too risky. Our chosen chippy, Turner's, was a family affair. 
with Ted, a showman at home on the range, in front of which ooh, he, entertain, can be quick, he entertained the queue behind him with a stream of quips delivered into the steamed up mirror. Flipping chips, he'd say, doing just that. The temperature of the boiling fat he gauged with a calloused finger before committing to the deep the batter shrouded cod. A master of the guillotine, he sliced spuds for scallops, while his wife and young Linda, in overalls salt bright and spotless, divvied out the crisp golden hoard. Despite my school uniform, Linda took a shine to me. Extra chips were a matter of course, not to mention the odd fish cake. But I wanted more than scraps. As mum and daughter worked behind a counter, we only saw them from the waist up. And I dreamed of Linda as a mermaid. Half woman, half haddock. Big, <laughs> big breasts and a silvery fishtail in place of down there. 